I am Malikarjun Dandinavar, Managing Director of Neutor Pumps and Systems Private Limited. OxyAid is the medical division of our company. We have been in this industry for the last 25 years. Now, the big question before us is, post-COVID, do we really need more oxygen, medical oxygen? Is there enough medical oxygen to meet the requirements? If you ask me, honestly, we aren't prepared. There's a lot of disparity in availability of oxygen. Oxygen may be highly available in cities and metros, but it, the picture is grim in rural India, where 70% of our population lies. Essentially, at the micro level, we had four challenges to overcome. Number one was accessibility. You all understand that oxygen factories are located outside the corporation limits in industrial zones. So getting access to oxygen was not easy. And all the dealers who reside in the districts open their shops only in the morning at 10 and close by 7 in the evening. So a lot of patients at home and in the hospitals were not able to get oxygen on time. Second, during COVID-2, the big challenge was making cylinder banks available in small towns and villages. There were a lot of deaths due to want of oxygen in these villages. As we were reading and seeing, watching news, a lot of reports were going unnoticed and unreported due to the deaths due to want of oxygen in rural India. Affordability. Oxygen is, of course, not very affordable, but we need to make it affordable and we can make it and we will make it. More importantly, we want to make it free for the poor and needy. The fourth challenge being accountability. During this COVID crisis, it was very important to know that the supplies of medical oxygen were properly utilized. One cannot practically go in for oxygen auditing. And it became more so difficult ki who was getting easy access to oxygen. The corporate sector hospitals, the private hospitals, they had the privilege to pay more and get oxygen. Whereas the lesser privileged and the poor people did have this accessibility to oxygen. So we need to bring in accountability in the system. This was one of the biggest challenge. Now, I have to come to the crux of the problem. The main point here we need to address is, there are three equipments. One is the oxygen generator, which generates oxygen using atmospheric air. It's a captive source of oxygen generation. Second is oxygen cylinder refilling stations. This is very important. And we need to integrate oxygen generators with oxygen refilling stations. This is going to provide total solutions. The third being effective distribution and last mile delivery. This can happen only through mobility solutions. So if you see these three equipments, like the generator, number one, number two, the refilling station, the third part is last mile delivery, that's mobility. This can happen only through a containerized medical oxygen plant. It's a factory on wheels. It makes oxygen available. COVID was a very big eye opener. COVID impacted everyone. It impacted even me. I lost seven of my own people during COVID too. I myself was on a ventilator and on ECMO for 47 days, grasping for breath. I know the value of breath. I know how hard it is to keep yourself alive with breathing problems. As I was watching this dance of death during COVID, it called in for a lot of introspection within me. That was the time I called my company engineers, designers, and we took a strong, strong resolve to start manufacturing medical oxygen generators out of a tier two city like Belgaum in Karnataka. With 25 years of experience behind us, we came up with a solution. We thought of four things, as I just enumerated earlier, that we needed mobility solutions. We want to make oxygen available in talukas, at the very source of where COVID is generated. We envisaged on designing 
a containerized medical oxygen plant. This serves all the three purposes. It is a source of captive oxygen generation. It can refill cylinders. Third thing, it can go anywhere at any time and fill the cylinders. You cannot have a better option and a better versatile model and a more efficacious system than this. So we took the challenge upon ourselves. It took us two years to do this research and today we are proudly the India's first company to have launched the IoT enabled containerized medical oxygen plant that not only generates oxygen but it also refills oxygen in cylinders and makes them available. 90% of the hospitals in India are dependent on cylinders. So the cylinder is what is really essential, is the indispensable part of the story. So our containerized plant addresses in totality oxygen generation, more importantly, filling of oxygen in cylinders. That is what is needed. The cylinders are going to save life. Now, our thought process led us to understand that we need to keep this containerized plant available in the fire brigade station of every district in the country. Why fire brigade station? Because all the locations of the fire brigade stations are within the city limits and thereby accessible to the people at large. Secondly, we don't need to spend anything more on infrastructure. The existing man force working in the fire brigade station can be trained by us to operate these generators as well as refill of, refilling of cylinders through these generators. So this containerized plant can go to every Taluka headquarters, fire brigade station and fill cylinders. We are leveraging technology, basically IoT, Internet of Things. So with a central monitoring station, you can monitor the containerized plant, whether it's in Ladakh or in Port Blair on the performance of the generator, the filling station, as well as the duration of operation. This is very critical. This sets in accountability. We have, got, we have gone one step ahead and we have gone into geotagging of all the 60,031 government hospitals in India. Once again, right from Ladakh to Port Blair. Now, what does this geotagging do? This will help us in leveraging technology and in ensuring last mile delivery. We are investing a lot in these technologies. We call these technologies as tools of transformation. In the coming days, you will see more innovative products that will create a lot of value, that will save a lot of lives.